Good morning, children. Children, according to our syllabus, our next lesson in science is fiber to fabric, and second lesson we will do afterwards. In class six, we have learned two types of fibers: natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers are the fibers that are obtained from plants and animals. They are called natural fibers. Example: wool, silk, jute, cotton. and synthetic fibers are the fibers which are made by humans through chemical synthesis they are called synthetic fibers example nylon polyester etc we have learned about some fibers obtained from plants we also have learned that wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals so these are the natural fibers wool is obtained from fleece fleece is the hair of sheep or yak and silk fibers they come from the cocoons of the silk moth so today we will do animal fibers and animal fibers are wool and silk and first is wool wool comes from sheep goat yak and some other animals these wool yielding yielding means giving animals they bear hair on their body do you know why these animals have a thick coat of hair because these animals they live in hilly areas or regions then hair it trap a lot of air as air is a poor conductor of heat so hair keeps these animals warm and wool is derived from these hairy fibers like us the hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fibers that forms its fleece fleece is hair the coarse beard hair and the fine soft under hair close to the skin the fine hair provide the fibers for making wool some breeds of sheep they possess only fine under hair their parents are specially chosen to give birth to sheep which have only soft under hair this process of selecting parents for obtaining special characters in the offspring such as soft under hair in sheep is termed selective breeding so children selective breeding is also known as artificial selection and it is a process which is used by humans and they select the two parents that have beneficial characteristics like the sheep having soft hair to reproduce reproduce means to give birth to the young ones and with those desired characteristics means with those soft hair now animals that yield yield means give wool Several breeds of sheep are found in different parts of our country. However, the fleece, fleece or hair of sheep is not the only source of wool. Though wool commonly available in the market is sheep wool. So not only the sheep which gives us wool, but there are other animals which also gives us wool. Like yak so yak wool is common in tibet and ladakh then mohair mohair is obtained from angora goats which are found in hilly regions such as jammu and kashmir wool is also obtained from goat hair the under fur of kashmiri goat is soft it is woven into fine shawls called pashmina shawls so we get pashmina shawls from the fine hair of kashmiri goat then the fur on the body of the camels it is also used as wool then llama and alpaca which are found in south america they also give us wool so children today we have learned different types of animals that yield wool i hope all of you have understood this much thank you have a good day